Who is Christian Bale playing in Thor Love and Thunder? The next chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is set to kick off this May with the first Phase 4 film, Black Widow, even though it's technically a prequel that ostensibly should have been set during Phase 3. And while MCU fans are excited for new films like The Eternals and new TV shows on Disney Plus like WandaVision, what seems to get everyone the most hyped of all was Phase 4, and specifically the announcement that director Taika Waititi is going to return to write and direct Thor's fourth outing, Love and Thunder, featuring Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie and Natalie Portman's Jane Foster, who's said to appear alongside Chris Hemsworth's Thor. And now another huge comic book movie name is in talks to join the Love and Thunder cast, Batman. Oh, shit. We're of course talking about the Dark Knight actor himself, Christian Bale. Now that's more like it, Mr. Wayne. Now, according to the Jellicle Cats over at Collider and confirmed by the other Jellicle Cats over at The Hollywood Reporter, the Welsh actor is currently in talks to join the Forquil in this undisclosed role. Now, of course, the internet immediately did what the internet does, and they started posting their thoughts in the form of wild-ass memes. Because getting someone from such a massively popular DC franchise into another massively popular Marvel franchise feels like someone just spilling their peanut butter all over my chocolate, which, for the record, I'm very okay with. But who could Bale be in talks to play? Who is this undisclosed role? What character in the fourth film in a franchise could bring over such a high-profile comic book film actor? Let's break down who he could be playing right now. Now, the first and most obvious choice, Beta Ray Bill. This horse-faced Corbinite alien who not only possessed the power of Thor after being worthy enough to wield Mjolnir, was also gifted his own enchanted hammer from Odin called Stormbreaker. Beta Ray Bill is definitely a fan-favorite Thor character, and Christian Bale's knack for utterly transforming for his roles has led many to meme about what his current regimen must be if he's going to turn himself into a horse-faced alien man. Now, this wouldn't be BRB's first appearance in the MCU, though eagle-eyed fans spotted his species in Gardens of the Galaxy as an Easter egg, and Bill's big old noggin was immortalized on the side of the Grandmaster's Tower in Thor Ragnarok. Now, as much as we're down for Beta Ray Bale, there's another hero that fans are speculating which Christian Bale could tackle. Of course, we're talking about Throg. Now, if you don't know, Throg is the frog that had the power of Thor. I'm sensing a theme here. What if an animal was a hammer boy? Although this could be less likely since Thor Ragnarok references Loki turning Thor into a frog, which kind of makes you think it was probably just him the whole time. Now, it's also possible that Bale might not play a hero in this film. In fact, given an actor of his stature and you look at the previous movie with Kate Blanchett, it's most likely that he's playing a villain or at least someone who's not such a good guy after all. The MCU loves to stack their villainous roles with seriously high-profile actors. Jeff Bridges in Iron Man, Kate Blanchett in Ragnarok, as I mentioned, Matt Mickelson in Doctor Strange. And with Christian Bale already having played a comic book hero over at the Distinguished Competition, you might want to mix things up with a one-and-done turn as a villain, especially after he did such a good job as other supervillain Dick Cheney. It's also doubtful that he wants to sign up for another round of commitments that would be required with a recurring hero like Beta Ray Bill. So who are some of the major Thor villains that we've yet to see show up on the big screen? Well, first of all, how about Ulick the Rock Troll? Now, Ulick has major beef with Thor across decades of comic continuity. He has a dislike for Asgardians in general, which would also put him directly against Asgard's new ruler, Valkyrie. Another option? Mangog. Mangog is the classic villainous archetype. He's the physical manifestation of the hatred of a billion aliens imprisoned beneath Asgard by Odin after an ancient invasion. You know, because comics. Now, can Bale channel the hatred of a billion beings? Well, we've all heard that said freakout audio, so probably. What about you, McG? You got something to say to this guy? And speaking of rage-filled nightmare beings, Ares, the god of war. Now look, Marvel Comics can admittedly get a little bit confusing at times because they have both multiple pantheons of mythological gods that are real, as well as the Eternals, who might have influenced all of humanity's tales of said mythological gods who are also real at the same time. But Ares is a recurring character in the Thor comics who has appeared as both a villain and a sometimes hero. And Bale could definitely pull off that level of comic book ambiguity very well. Honestly, though, we think that if Bale's going to go the villain route, an extremely likely option is Gore the God Butcher. Now, Gore thinks the gods are irrelevant and makes a pastime out of murking them. And look, I get it. We all need hobbies. Just ask Philip Pullman. 
Now, someone who kills gods would definitely be a worthy adversary for Thor to do battle with. Plus, in the comics, it can be said that Gore is indirectly responsible for the events that lead to Jane Foster wielding Mjolnir, an event that we know is going to happen in Love and Thunder. Now, of course, Christian Bale could be ditching the spandex entirely in favor of a business suit to play a more human, earthbound adversary to Jane Foster, like Dario Agger, this evil Roxxon executive who's been thwarting Jane Foster's sciencing. And one look at the news cycle should tell you the villains we should be most afraid of are those who try to thwart any attempt at sciencing. Now, we'll just have to wait and see what other news pops up about Thor Love and Thunder as we get closer to his 2021 release date. But what do you folks think? Are there any choices we missed? I mean, personally, I think he's playing the creamsicle that Thor enjoys on a hot summer's day. Well, I'm sold. But tell me, do you think it's more likely that Bale's gonna be a hero or a villain? And who do you wanna see him play most, Beta Ray Bale or Throg? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe while you're at it? And if you wanna get notified every time we go live with a new show or drop a new video, please feel free to mash that little bell. That way you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.